Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister back for another episode of Cycle with Max. Today I want to give you an important tip, a safety tip for indoor cycling um, while on using any of the various apps or Zwift. Um, and that's if you're a heavyweight rider or you're a particularly strong sprinter or standing climber. Uh, you know, in the real world, what, when you do these activities, your bike will sway and move under you as you climb or sprint. Or if you're, again, if you're just a heavy rider, your bike's free to move under you. But in, a, in an environment where we put it on a trainer and capture it and hold it down, it's no longer free. And the truth is, you're still putting all of the twisting loads into the bike. You're still going to be pushing on, pulling on the bars, and you're still putting tremendous amounts of force. Uh, enough to, you know, of course, be flexing the bottom bracket. So, you know, a lot of people have never actually seen a bike flex, but this is, they'll bend. Come on in here and, you know, all of this flexing action at the bottom bracket is, is part of you putting power into the bike. The safety problem comes when you try and hold what would be your rear wheel rigid and then try and twist the frame on it. And let me show you what happens. <clears throat> you can actually start to come in real close. You actually start to pull your frame off the trainer. All right now, you won't know this until you actually rip your frame off the trainer. <laughs> so, it's very important. Watch what happens when I relax this quick release. Did you see my bike just drop down in there? See how it's up? Watch it. Yeah, hold steady. See if, if it's not quite up, but see, see the silver ring? That's where it's trying to pull out. If you re release your quick release, your bike's going to drop in. So now, two things are important here. You can back up and let me. Two things that are important with this. One, you got to check your bike all the time. If you have a permanent station set up or one you're going to have set up all winter, if you're in a climate where you know you're not going outside, this is a problem because you're, this is, you don't really have a compelling reason to check this, but you got to remember to do it. First of all, because you'd be damaging your frame, your dropouts on your frame. But secondly, you actually could rip your bike off the trainer. Um, so, the two tips are check it frequently and you need to crank on your quick releases if, if possible. So, you know, uh, they say it should leave an impression in your hand in the old days. Um, you know, when you go to push on it, you should have some impression. I argue that, you know, on a, on a trainer like this where you're captive and you know you're going to put a ton of pressure, I mean, you can really crank in there on it and make sure it's uh, got a lot of force on the quick release. Another kind of trick thing you can look for on Amazon or at your local bike shop is DT Swiss has uh, quick releases that are not cams but rather like a bolt and screw that you can get really tight for a lot of force. Um, and if you're lucky you have a through axle bike on your trainer and then this won't matter at all. But so this applies to quick release bikes. So please keep an eye on that uh, so that you don't have an accident indoors somehow, all right? So I'm Max. If you like this video, please share with your friends, particularly if they weigh a lot um, or have tons of sprinting power. And um, uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll keep this cool content coming.